night the shower is running. Just want to monitor these when they kick on. They were just on about five minutes ago. So the tank's pretty hot right now. It's at 133 and it's still at 133. Um, I Right now I have this showing the stage of modulation and I have this showing the total BTUs for both units. So I'm waiting for this tank to drop and kick these on. Normally starts out really high. Like you can hear it usually goes to stage four and it's over 200,000 BTUs. And then it, it kind of figures out where it wants to be and it, and it regulates itself. Tanks down to 132. So what's happening right now, I've explained this in other videos, but the hot water is being drawn from that side tap right there and cold water is replacing it from the bottom of the tank. So once that thermostat, which is in the middle, drops below 126, the pump comes on. So if the shower's drawn 2.8 gallons a minute, now 2.8 gallons a minute are going to be going out of the tank but the pump is pumping, you know, the whole system's pumping eight. It's dropping fast now. It'll be on in a second. Give it, there it goes. Tanks at 124, 123, 122, 121. Tanks at 119, 117, 16. Tanks at 114, 113. See how that one shut off. And then came back on. Tanks at 112, 111. Now I have that three way mixing valve dialed in, so I believe it's right around 110. So the person in the shower will never feel it get colder. And so far, that's been working out you don't ever feel anything cold in the shower see now it's starting to kind of regulate itself here tanks back up to 112 total BTUs are hovering right around 166 thousand tanks up to 113 and as the warmer the water is coming back, the less BTUs it needs to heat it. Tanks up to 115. So what's happening right now is, this, as I was saying, the shower is only pulling 2.8 gallons a minute, roughly, from that shower head. Okay, but total, between both these units right now, with that one pump, we're moving almost 8 7.6, 7 7.7, about 3.8 gallons, 3.9 gallons a minute through each unit. So what that means is 2.8 is coming from the tap, from the cold water that's coming in from the meter because that's 2.8 that's going out. The rest of it, you know, the, the other 5 gallons a minute are coming from the tank. So it's recirculating the tank, and that's how the tank is catching up. So the tank's back up to 121. Our BTU usage is down to 133,000. But that's how the, the tank is ever to keep up. Now, you know, you could probably have two showers, three showers going, two showers, dishwasher, the sink, and this would still keep up. I mean, you've got almost eight gallons a minute here you're really not going to outrun that tank unless you had a lot of hot water usage going on all at once and even then um, you know you're limited by that pump you're not really limited by the units the way this is set up because the units aren't seeing the actual flow of the fixtures like oh now it's three because one faucet's on and now it's six now it's nine you know the units aren't seeing that the units are only seeing 
the eight gallons a minute that that pump can pump and that's it so you're kind of limited to what that pump can put through the tank or the system but the tanks back at 127 and the reason you know in some of my other videos you'd notice that usually the tank temperature matches the incoming temperature and that's normally the case when the system is closed but right now the system is open the showers on so we have cold water entering the system at 2.8 gallons a minute because that's what's being let out so that 2.8 gallons a minute that's coming in from the cold which is uh, 55 60 degrees right now is mixing with the five gallons a minute that are being pulled from the bottom of that tank and that's why you're getting a mixed temperature um, could pull up what the temperature is right now but it's probably not 130 it's probably a mixture because normally at 130 when it's closed this is down to 30,000 BTUs and it's at stage one of modulation okay so the shower just shut off and now the tanks are off So it's just coincidence that the shower, that she turned the shower off right at the same time it was about to kick off anyway on the tank. So that's kind of how it works. Just a quick, you know, I was down here working on some of the uh, piping for the snow melt and the radiant and uh, I knew it was about to kick on. So I thought I'd pop the GoPro out here and just do a quick walk through while it did its thing. But so far, real happy. The only thing... I'm not impressed with is the fans in these units as they modulate they have a real low drone and it's not loud I mean you guys heard how loud these were when they kicked on they're not loud but I think that that low vibration because this is bolted to the wall and the walls tied into the studs and everything it carries you know and if you're standing in the kitchen right above us I mean you can feel the floor vibrating and it's just the fans in these things. It's it's not like anything's loose or it's not like anything's wrong. It's just a characteristic of the, the motor that's in there. Um, I don't know how A.O. Smith or Takagi has it mounted or what they've got for dampeners, but that's my only complaint is that it resonates. It resonates throughout the whole, the whole house. Um, but, you know, it's not bad and, and uh, it'll be fine. So anyway, I'm going to keep working here because we are getting a ton of snow and I don't have the snow melt on and I want to get it on. So talk to you soon.